Hi guys, today I'm going to take you through some simple steps on Canva showing you how to use Lou's cute as hell little bears that she has designed. You can purchase these bears as a pack on Creative Fabrica to use in children's book creation or for print merchandise. So I'm just going to show you some tips and tricks for using Lou's bears. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is go into Canva. I've made a canvas of this required size that will depend on the project you're doing. And I'm going to upload the entire pack of bears that she sent me. As you can see, you get several heads, several bodies and different poses. They're so freaking cute. Okay, now to use these heads, they come as one sheet. It's really simple. You take it to your canvas and you're going to make it a decent size to work on. Then you're going to go up and hit crop and you're going to reduce the size to just one head and click done. Then you're going to duplicate that file, move it over. You can get crop again, move it over and select a different head. You can do this for a whole sheet and then just save this as a file that you can copy and paste from in seconds rather than cropping ahead every time you need one. That's what I do with the Lean and Lou Bears. I just have a file full of cropped parts. Now you can take any one of these bodies as shown and you can replace the head by simply overlaying on the top. Make the head a similar size, move the position to the front and just position over the bear, tweak the size until it fits and voila. If you want to see how to use bear parts more in depth, I'm going to make another video on how to cut apart the bears, how to reposition their heads, even how to change their faces in the next video. So I'm going to show you a little scene today, how I compile scenes really simply. On Canva, they do do lots of graphics and photos for free. If you have the paid version, it's an even bigger library of images. I go in and I tick scenery and then I click graphics. I just pick whatever scenery I think will match the style of my cartoon character. This one's kind of cute. And I'm going to make it the size of my canvas. Now my canvas is the size of a two page spread of a book because Lou and I, we make our books at two pages at a time and then we cut them into a single manuscript. So that's why this is so wide. Now when positioning the characters, I always think about the relation of the size of the character to the size of the scene. You want to keep things in proportion and to ground your characters, a little trick I have is to go and find a shadow look for one that is relatively small and then increase the transparency until it's a much lighter shade position it underneath your object or your character and then move it backwards one layer as you can see it totally grounds him as if he's really sitting on the ground i do that with any big objects that i add or anything really noticeable and you can also add to your scene by adding other elements like similar designs of graphics like this tree looks like it's a similar design to the background and I'm going to give them it to lean against. I'm just getting it roughly in the right position till I move it back and then I can get it exactly where I want it. Now adding to the background scene makes such a difference rather than just using your scene as is like i didn't really like how pixelated some of those leaves were so i'm just going to hide them with a bush that's further forward you just have to pay attention to where you lay things how high up in terms of composition realistic sizing think about your picture having depth and how it would look in real life if you were standing looking into a scene like this you've just got to think about the size of things Okay, so now I'm going to show you that you can add things to the bear himself and make it look relatively together and not just something that's pasted in place. After I add the sun here, adding a sun to my scenes is a must. I always like to add that little bit of colour. So after adding the finishing touches to my background, I like to add some cute details to my foreground. So I'm looking for some little friend here for the bear. I feel like he needs something, a little insect friend or a little friend there. I was just showing you here that Canva has many different kinds of little add-ons, little clip arts. I always try and look for ones that are in the same style. Now my background is a different style to my main character, but that's okay. As long as I keep all my additions of characters or living things in the same style to each other and keep all my scenery in the same style to itself, it's cohesive. Those two things can be different as long as you are consistent. 
So I found this little butterfly that I'm going to stick on his head and like I did with the bear, I'm going to ground it by adding the tiniest little shadow. Zooming in for the tiny detail work makes such a difference. You can see things much more clearly, getting as close as you like. And always remember to put your shadow layer back one layer so that it looks like the item that you're using it with is on top of the shadow, not that the shadow is pasted on the front. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to use the same bear but make it look like a different character. I'm just going to take one of the other bears in a different pose. So you'll get much more out of your bear pack by doing this. You don't have to stick with it as just one character. I'm copying and pasting the shadow to ground them, moving it to the back like before. And now I'm going to change my bear's colour. So by going into the editing photo, you can change the tint here. As you can see, I can make a different colour of brown bear just with the movement of a bar. Now I'm going to add some fine details onto the bear just to make it more obvious that this is a different bear. There is all different blush pieces in Canva, all different colours. You can also use tint on any of these blushes. You can use the transparency button to make them lighter. There's so many things you can do. So I'm adding some blush because this is going to be my girl bear. And I'm going to add some eyelashes. A simple little addition that will change this to being a different bear. Now don't worry that there's two here. We're just going to crop one off. Don't worry about the colour because as you can see in the corner, it has the option to change colour, which is what you want to look for when you use any kind of little graphics like this. So I'm going to zoom in to my little detail. And because it's changeable, I am going to click on the colour, click on the dropper tool and match it to the colour of the outline of the bear. This will make it blend seamlessly as if it was drawn on the original bear. I'm going to copy and paste it, flip it over and add it to the other eye. Make sure I've got them positioned both the same and voila, you have eyelashes on the bear that look like they were there in the original file. Now I've zoomed out, I can see the cheeks need moved and we have our little girl face. It looks like a different bear. Now, another thing I like to do sometimes is dress the characters. As you can see, Canva has a whole array of clothing. I typed in skirt. That white one would have worked, but I decided to show you this one that you can take existing big skirts like this and crop them. Cropping them down to a shorter level works really well on body types like these characters because it's so much easier to fit to them. So I roughly move them to shape, then I zoom in and get exactly the size that fits the body. I realised it's a little too low here because it's overlapping the foot, but I can show you how to combat that in future videos, but just not this one. <laughs> and there we have a little skirt. Something else I sometimes like to add are hats. I feel like your characters, if they can have clothes, they should have clothes. And Canva has many, many styles of hat. So I look for one that is going to work with the head type I'm working with. This little party hat is cute. Now if you notice the shade of red is not quite right but in the top right hand, left hand bar sorry, you can see the colours are changeable and I use my dropper trick just to change the red to match the skirt. Voila! There we have it. Two completely different bears set in a scene wearing clothes and a butterfly. Enjoy!